what's going on? Hey guys. Hey! -o! Hey you guys, it's Darnell Bradley. This is for real. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Donald Bradley back at y'all another video and today we've got epic rap battle of manliness. This happened to come across the boys recommends and I like I'm like, okay, what's this? Cause you know we fuck with the rap battles, the quirky rap battles, and see what's going on. But epic rap battle of manliness. I'm interested to see what's going on. We got a dude trimming hedges and some dude coming out of his house. So we just got what two like average Joe dudes just like Spitting it out? Like, I'm in, I'm curious as shit, man. I wanna see what's going on here. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on out there, social media, we gonna hop into this bitch without any further ado. In three, two, one, click. Trimming the hedge, huh? Yep, me too. 22 inches, electric. 33 cc. So I see where this is going. Okay. Are you challenging my manliness? Yes. <laughs> yes. I was born with hair on Not they got this nigga. Hold on real quick. I was they lumberjack this man <laughs> off top. Got the suspenders and everything. All right, let's go. Born with hair on my chest, a gleam in my eye to latch onto a breast. I cut my own. Wow, I was born with hair on my chest, a gleam in my eye to latch onto a breast. Talking about breastfeeding, but as a dude, titties. Let's go. All right, we got it. Come on. Born umbilical cord with my razor sharp teeth. Then I drove home and my mom rode on in the back seat. I didn't wow. go no I drove home and my mom. All right, let's go. He's spitting. We getting razor it. Sharp teeth. Then I drove home and my mom rode on in the back seat. I didn't go through puberty. Puberty went through me. And it I didn't go through. Wow. Oh, he he did. He is spitting. All right. My mom rode on in the back seat. I didn't go through puberty. Puberty went through me. And it was uh. never even awkward because I made it happen instantly. If you address the letter to man and put it in the mail, rest assured I'd receive it, but I ain't going to be your pen pal. My time is too valuable for that. I'll be too busy working a jackhammer. You're a mama boy. <laughs> too busy working jack jack jackhammer. All right. So as far as rap battle, as far as rap battle, Mr. 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 Lumberjack. He didn't really spit anything to the other guy, you feel me? He wasn't really dissing. He had some dope lines. They were interesting. You know, it was cool in a comedy sense, but they weren't really digs at his opponent. So we'll see what's going on with, with Mr. Spectacles. But for that, I'll be too busy working a jackhammer. You're a mama's boy. I was born in an Arctic cave and adopted by wolves. That's how I was raised. I didn't drink milk. I suckled the fangs of venomous snakes. I Hold on. All right, so it doesn't look like they're going to be doing digs. It, like... All right, so put it on that. If they're both going about it the same way, it changes the criteria. But that nigga said, I didn't, I didn't, because he was, he was making a play on his thing about uh, breastfeeding and things like that. Um, and he's over here like, yo, I didn't even breastfeed. I sucked on the fangs of venomous snakes. Like, bro, man shit. Let's go. Wolves, that's how I was raised. I didn't drink milk. I suckled the fangs of venomous snakes. I killed the first man that I met with just my firm handshake. A potty trap. Dead. Immediately. Train myself. you still been. Wait, that nigga said I potty train myself. <laughs> I like it. Come on. First man that I met with just my firm handshake. I potty train myself. you still been wedding. I smell like charcoal when I'm sweating and was the best man at my own wedding. Damn, that nigga said I smell like charcoal when I'm sweating and was the best man at my own wedding. Whoo! All right, yo. Now he doesn't. He hasn't really had any digs, digs, but he's like has some response lines. But just off of the two, what they've been saying, even just about who's manlier and being manlier, like, I'm feeling this dude. I'm feeling Mr. Spectacles, even though he hasn't been wearing his glasses as he's going, but, like, I I, I like what he's saying better. Let's go. You're still bed wedding. I smell like charcoal when I'm sweating and was the best man at my own wedding. Damn. Search Google Images for masculinity. Feel free to Photoshop your face on that image of me. Wow, that nigga said, feel free to Photoshop your face. He said, look, hold on, wait, look, back, back it up, back it up, back it up. For masculinity. Look up on Google for masculinity. Feel free to Photoshop your face on that image of me. Be sure to Photoshop your, you can Photoshop your face on that image of me. Yeah, nah, he's winning, because he, he, 
like I said, he had some responses directly to what dude said, and he was, like, talking at him. Like, they were on the same tip as far as, like, I'm manly this way, I'm manly this way. But, like, he was, you know what I'm saying? So, right now, we got we got my, my dude right here ahead. We got my dude right here ahead. Let's go. Let's go. My dude Ant-Man. <laughs> he tell me he don't look like that nigga right now. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we, let, let's, see what, let's see what Lumberjack got. Creative Commons, punk. Meanwhile, I'll be adjusting some really large nuts. Before the sun, screw circadian rhythm. I bathe with sandpaper and my underwear is denim. I, I bathe with sandpaper and my underwear is denim. Man, shit! <laughs> the sun, screw circadian rhythm. I bathe with sandpaper and my underwear is denim. I shave with a box cutter, blindfolded as well. Cause if I look in the mirror, I intimidate myself. He had he had an interesting lines. I think I shave with a box cutter, blindfolded as well, because if I could see my reflection, I'd intimidate myself. <laughs> Honestly, like I just get big ass Chuck Norris vibes from this whole damn track. But yo, this shit is dope. And I really do like the beat and how it's going on. Like boom, that shit going on. But all right, um, between the two though, between Lumberjack and uh, this dude right here, this guy's still up for me. He's still up for me. But it's not like Lumberjack ain't spitting cool and interesting shit. It's just in the terms of the battle. His is more self-glorification shit. But the other guy's is self-glorification. He is doing that. And the comparison between those two with just the shit they're saying, that's pretty even. The only thing that really tips it with me is that that guy made direct statements to him and, like, re re rebuttals and shit like that. So let's go. Cutter, blindfolded as well. Because if I look in the mirror, I intimidate myself. I got no need for sleep. I never shut my eyes. I type bitchy noise while I memorize Apache war cries. The sun comes up when I tell it. That nigga said the sun comes up when I tell it I'm ready. <laughs> Man, shit! Cries. The sun comes up when I tell it I'm ready. Then I trim my nose hairs with a razor sharp machete. I'm manly because I'm so handy. Even my feet are hands. I build a okay. hobbit house for a homeless man without using any plans. My kid's jungle gym has a full size trapeze, and I modified my garden hose to dispense nacho cheese. I'm handy too. I run out of my bathroom exhaust fan into your bedroom. I'm writing. Wow, wow, wow. See, come on. You see what the fuck he just said to that dude? Hold on, he said, I'm handy too. Oh, so this bitch not your cheese. I'm handy too. I rerouted my I'll reroute I rerouted my bathroom exhaust fan into, your into your bedroom. Like you come on, fam. Like he's saying shit to him. Like that's that's manly shit within a disc. Like, come on, like he's saying shit to him. Bedroom, I write incisors of Phillips head screwdriver. I made my son deck into a holodeck where I hang out with MacGyver. Wow. <laughs> my GPS gets a sense of direction from me. I can drive ten. My GPS gets its sense of direction for me. I like, yo, they, they got, they got dope ass lines. Like, just, just within saying shit, they, yeah. Hang out with MacGyver. My GPS gets its sense of direction for me. I can drive ten hours without stopping to take a leak. I don't avert my eyes when I pass roadkill, and I teach an online course in parallel parking skills. When my car breaks down, I don't call a mechanic. I just open the hood and then I stare at it. <laughs> That, that, I like that. I just open the hood and then I stare at it. Man, shit. Stereotypes. Yo, I love, this is, this is, this is good. Don't call a mechanic. I just open the hood and then I stare at it. Uh. And then I call a mechanic. But I won't be cheated. He's not going to talk me into repairs and I didn't know that I need it. Yeah, like, I love, I, I love the, I love, like, this, the stereotype ones in there too. But you got the outlandish ones and the ones that are dope. And then you got ones that are... Manly this stereotypical shit. He's like, I'll stare at it, then call a mechanic. But I won't be cheated into buying shit. I don't. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's go. But I won't be cheated. He's not gonna talk me into repairs, and I didn't know that I needed it. I can sleep alone in the woods without a tent. I might get a little scared, but then I get over it. I tie him not the eagle. <laughs> I know I'm pausing, but come on. I might be a little scared, but then I get over it. Come on, yo. Woods without a tent. I might get a little scared, but then I get over it. I tie him not the eagle scouts hadn't even heard. Right here. Uh, yeah, he was just cleaning something off my shirt. Yep. Got it. Okie dokie. You guys have a great day. I'm too much man for a manicure. I don't even have cuticles. Wow, I'm too much man for a manicure. I don't even have cuticles. <laughs> I'm too much man for a manicure. I don't even have cuticles. <laughs> 
Like he says things in direct response. Why don't this guy say something like direct responding back? I'm too much man for a manicure. I don't even have cuticles. For the sake of convenience, I keep a urinal in my cubicle. I can barefoot ski. I, I be that's probably you probably stank unless you had really good cakes. Just saying. I smell the fear of bees. I threw up in my mouth, but one time that I watched clean. I am my own boss. My middle name is Hall. Uh. I don't even know what it feels like to sit with my legs crossed. Hey! Sniff mountain goat droppings? Well, honey, somebody did a stinky. It's got your name on it. Babe, the Real Housewives marathon's about to start, and you promised you'd make your vegan ooey gooey bars. <laughs> Defeated by the wives. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And ah, uh, yo, 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 yo. That was dope when it's in dope shit here. So if I gotta give it to one, I'ma give it to uh, Repairman versus Lumberjack. Gotta give it to Repairman versus Lumberjack. But like just within the shit they were spitting about, like the shit they were rapping about, like the the, the stereotypes and like the man shit, y'all feel me? Like they, they were even, like that's where it was like just the track and it was fucking phenomenal. But when it comes to uh, the battle sense, the, the mechanic, he was saying more direct statements and rebuttals to some of the stuff that Lumberjack was saying. And he was like, like I said, that fucking airing his shit out and you fucking, and then come on. Like, yo, he, he he did good shit. I think he had the 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 more direct battle verse. But as far as like what they were spitting just in general, like, yes, yes, that was fucking amazing. <laughs> we liked that. That was a good listen. We definitely got to keep our eyes over here. So that's my take on it, guys. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all their social media and I'll catch y'all in the next one, fam. Peace.